Hey guys, welcome back to the channel with another Marvel's Avengers video. Now this one's going to be a bit different guys, it's something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while on the channel and it is a hero concept. Now the premise for this guys is to take a hero that has not come into the game yet uh, or people would like to see or someone that is most likely to come into the game and basically go over what I think their abilities would be what skins would they they have and you know stuff like that so if you guys are going to enjoy the video make sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe if you guys haven't already uh we did just hit 5,000 subscribers as well guys so thank you guys so much for that that's absolutely insane so appreciate all you guys for the support but uh and if you guys want to see any other hero concepts let me know in the comment section below and we can definitely get them going if you guys would like you know have any other ideas of what I could do in these concepts, let me know in the comment section below as well. But let's get straight into this video because this first one is about Captain Marvel. Now, big disclaimer guys, we don't know if these heroes are coming into the game, anyone that I talk about in these hero concepts. This is just something that I would like to see, you know, a bit of a fan-made thing. So take this with a very big grain of salt, guys, uh, as well. Um, again, you know, these abilities may not, you know, this may not be, if the hero does come into the game, what they might be. So this is just uh, what I think. And you know, again, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, because um, I'm sure everyone would have a different opinion. But let's get started off with, guys, Captain Marvel. I think she's definitely going to be coming into the game at some point, because, of course, we have the Kree invasion coming at some point during the game. Uh, and, of course, Captain Marvel is very much associated with the Kree. So I definitely think she'll be coming in at some point when the Kree do arrive in the game. Now let's go over Captain Marvel's skills. Now what do I think that she's actually going to have in the game? So this is not including her abilities guys, this is just her skills. So I'm definitely thinking that she's obviously going to fly. I think that's just a bit of a, you know, a bit of a no-brainer in my opinion. Um, I think, you know, she's very much uh, athletic. She's very good with agility. So I think she'll play a lot like uh, Black Widow or Kate Bishop as well, um, in that sense, when she's on the ground. Uh, obviously, she'll be able to fly or, you know, be on the ground, kind of like Iron Man and Thor, I would say, in a sense like that. Um, I would definitely say she would have the ability to do a door smash, so she'd be able to open those doors to get those crates. Um, I definitely think she'll have one of them. Now, of course, Captain Marvel is very interesting because she has her cosmic energy, and, you know, obviously in the comics, the more damage she took, or, you know, the more that she was in a fight, the more stronger that she became. So I think for her intrinsic energy, I think this could be a good way to go. So the more that she fights, or the more she, damage she takes, the more her intrinsic energy builds up and makes her more powerful in a sense. So, you know, she actually she gets more powerful, at, you know, the more the fight, the more fight she's in. I think that'd be a really good way to go. Now, I'm sure when she comes into the game, she's gonna have a lot more skills. Obviously her skill tree is gonna be quite diverse, I think. I believe when she, I've got, we'll talk about this once we get into her abilities, guys, but I think her assault ability her, will be her photon uh, blast, essentially, that comes out of her hands. I think a good way to do this is, obviously, we have assault abilities already that allow you to build up charges, in a sense, so you can do the ability more than once. I think this will definitely be one of the skills that she will have. Also, obviously, like I said, the more that she fires, the more damage she deals, essentially. The more, like, energy she absorbs, the more damage she can deal. So I think the way that we can do this is the more damage she takes, the more, like I said, the more damage she deals. And I think one of her photon abilities, uh, one of her photon blasts, could be concussive, so it will shock an enemy, or it could obviously stun an enemy. But you could change it also to either deal rapid fire, uh... Uh, shots if that makes sense or a powered up blast that will do immense amount of damage and could break blocks now obviously flying characters like thor and tony also have shooting abilities while they're in the air so i think this will be her proton uh, blast essentially they will be able to shoot through the air of course we see this multiple times in Cap captain marvel comics as well as in the films as well in the mcu now, while we're here, guys, let's get into her abilities. Now, I think her assault ability would be obviously be a more charged up photon blast. Let me know if you guys think would be anything different. This is what I came up with. So a photon blast that could be charged up and deal more increased damage, kind of like a uni beam in a sense. I believe her assault heroic would be very similar to Captain uh, America's rally cry. So his support heroic ability boosts charge rate of all heroic ability meters for the entire strike team. So I definitely think because, of course, she's very... Uh, she, obviously, she's Captain Marvel, and she does support her team quite a lot. Even though she does do quite a lot of her damage herself, I think she would be a she would have an ability to support her team as well. I just think that would make sense. Now, obviously, her ultimate heroic ability, 
I think this is obviously going to be binary. Now, the binary, I think, could do a multiple number of things. Obviously, it would overcharge her intrinsic meter, so she could do immense amount more damage. I think it would also make her invulnerable for a few seconds, um, or take less damage in a sense, so have a defensive buff to this. I think that's what it would, it would, it makes sense to, uh, to be honest. Uh, and obviously, it would be able to break blocks, increase melee effectiveness and just increase everything overall i think this would be you know you'd automatically get a immediate damage buff i think the big thing about captain marvel is that the like i said the more damage she takes the more damage she increases as well so i think this is a good way to do it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below again this is just my opinions guys it could be wrong um obviously uh but uh yeah this is just what i think but i think definitely her ultimate hurricane body would be binary now, just on a side note here, guys, I think that Captain Marvel could play a lot like Thor. I think that her ratings for her heroic would be quite high. I just think that her way, the way that she would play would be very much uh, aggressive. Obviously, you know, she has a lot of aggressive tactics about her. But I also think her ultimate heroic ability, obviously, like I said, would be binary. I think this could do an immense amount of damage kind of like Thor's Bifrost, and Thor has a lot of great abilities that do a lot of damage. I think Captain Marvel would play a little bit like Thor in the heroic game, essentially. Now, the last thing I want to talk is about skins, guys. Of course, there are a massive amount of skins that we could go into. Um, I have come up with a few op options, guys. Of course, there is multiple uh, around. Now, one of them I think would be cool would be Armor Up. Now, this, of, of course, I've got some, some of these off websites, guys, because I don't know a lot about Captain Marvel uh, in the comics. So, in the late 90s, Carol Danvers lost the cosmic power she wielded as binary. She adopted the name Warbird and continued crime fighting anyway. In another universe, another Carol also adopted the name Warbird in response to having her power stolen by the mutant rogue. Now, this is, uh, obviously, I'll put some photos up of the skins that I think would be cool to have, guys. I think this could be a very much a epic or even legendary appearance as well. Um, I think that's definitely very big, uh, a, a big possibility. Um, also, this one here, um, the black and the red, I think could work quite well with the white hair. Uh, definitely reminds me a lot of, uh, you know, I, 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 you know, we obviously know that Captain Marvel does, you know, shave her hair in the MCU. I don't, I don't really enjoy Captain Marvel with the short hair, but I think that's definitely a skin that we could have. Um, the secret agent one with the uh, black, I think, could work quite well as well. Uh, of course, you know. This was when her she was Miss Marvel. She wasn't quite Captain Marvel at this point. Um, obviously, her classic black suit, I think, has to be in here at some point. Uh, the black suit, I think, just would make sense, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, it is on the Kamala's wall in her room in the actual game as well. So, I definitely think that this skin is definitely a big possibility. Now, obviously, MCU skins are something that everyone wants in the game. I, of course, do as well. And I think Captain Marvel could definitely get a lot if not all of her mcu skins into the game now of course she has one from the kree uh, you know her green like, like aqua and black uh sort of appearance i think that could work quite well uh, obviously her classic you know captain marvel appearance obviously would work as well with the helmet on and off please you know crystal dynamics please i know we don't have you know cap can either you know have his helmet on or off is with some skins i would enjoy an option where you can actually choose to have the helmet on or off, or you know, the mask on or off. I think that would work really well. Obviously, her Endgame outfit, um, you know, obviously is different to the Captain Marvel uh, one from her solo film. So I definitely think that could be definitely be an option there. But like, like there is a lot of skin throughout, you know, Marvel history that she definitely could have. You know, she has a obviously some of her classic skins. I'll put through, I put on the screen what I think some of those skins definitely could be, guys. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But that is my hero concept for Captain Marvel, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys would like me to add anything else into future hero concepts, guys, do let me know. Make sure to, you know, leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys want to see more of these in the future. And also let me know what other heroes you want me to do as well. I'll definitely do a lot more heroes, guys, if you guys enjoy these. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this in the comment section below. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, happy gaming.